Hey guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. So um, in this video I would like to show you another way of creating the wingtip um, which I think many many of you are gonna like and you can use it in many ways and uh, the same technique you can also use on many a uh, type of airfoil as well. Uh, but before I'm gonna show you this one I just want to remind you that if you have any question or any kind of wish uh, for a video um, for me then I want you to go into this forum over here you can find a direct link to it in the video description or you can also see here the address okay it's on the new form um, the new platform that I've created uh, for benchmark for different kind of hardware for Fusion 360 so um, go inside create an account it's totally free don't worry about it and over here you can ask me any kind of questions that you want okay great so uh, let's go back to our wing chip so let's see how we can fix it and so let's I'm just going to activate the wings um, component and from here I'm just gonna go to the uh, history here and I'm gonna scroll back until here uh, no, actually right before that this one here good so we have created or projected this uh, sketch here you can see so we have the shape of the aerofoil here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in edit sketch and I'm going to create a new um, chord line it's gonna start from here to here and I'm gonna exit this sketch now next step I'm gonna go to patch environment and click on create revolve untick the chaining we don't need it and we're gonna choose this sketch here or this profile and I'm gonna choose this select axis I'm gonna choose the chord line and from the angle we're gonna choose 90 degrees Here we go and hit OK. So now we need to finish the the other side. How are we gonna do this? Okay, so there are two ways, and you choose what works best for you. One way we can go to loft, create, and then loft. We choose this profile, and then we choose the second profile. But if we look at it from the side view, you can see it doesn't really it doesn't really look good. It doesn't have the continuation that we are looking for. So if you go back here, you can see um, we have connected G0 on both of them. So we can go to the first one. We choose we change to tangent G1 and go to the second and again g1 and you can see it gave us a nice stomach here it looks much better or you can change it to g2 and then change the other one to g2 and see if it's gonna accept it no it did not let's change this one back to g1 so it's only gonna give us g1 and it looks like this let's exit the loft command here it's not that bad it actually looks really nice but let's just say you want to take it one step forward you want to have even more control on the curve over here so what you're gonna do so let's go back I'm just gonna delete this one and what you can do here is I am going to show the sketch here and I'm going to choose planet angle 
gonna choose this center line here okay and I'm gonna click okay now it's placed um, I think almost on the thickest side um, of the aerofoil I'm not sure if it's the thickest but um, what we are going to do now now it depends on the shape of the aerofoil it's based to do that um, on the thickest area so if let's just say you're not on the thickest area so what you can do you can create an offset plan and then you can move it to somewhere where you think it's going to be it's going to be the thickest area so let's for example try it over here and click ok so the first one we can hide and from here we're gonna go into create sketch on this plan we're gonna choose slice and we're gonna go to project and intersect now I'm just gonna zoom in and I'm gonna project this point here and this point here okay these two points and click OK from here I'm just gonna go to create a straight line from this point here and move it down so it's perpendicular here to this line and then we're gonna go up good now two ways we're going to need to create a fillet so you can either use the fillet command which in general it's not really that recommended or you can also create a circle and create a fillet out of it I'm just going to show you exactly how to do that so we are going to create a tangent from here to here and then another tangent from here to here and now we can trim the areas that we don't need for example all these pieces that we don't need over here and also over here okay so this is how we create uh, the fillet and if I want now I can change that the curve so maybe something like that then we can finish the sketch and now we can go back to our loft command and choose make sure there are no profile here this profile and then we choose the second profile and for the rail I'm gonna use this one this one and this one okay so as you can see here we have much more control over the bottom side and how it's going to loft and we can always change that if we don't like this shape so now all what's left to do is we're going to stitch these two together and I'm just gonna hide this body here and the sketch here we don't need it anymore and we're going to create a patch okay so we're going to create a patch over here and we're going to stitch these two pieces together and voila now we can go back to our model environment and we can go and combine those two bodies together just wait for it and click OK and here we go 
It's very beautiful uh, wingtip. Maybe if I'm going to change the color to something else, uh, maybe it's gonna look a bit different for you guys. So you can see it a little bit better. Okay. So as you can see, you have uh, it, it is very simple to create and it can give you some really, really great results and very few steps. And uh, yeah, so you saw the first one, how I did it. And this is the second one. And you are just going to choose whatever works best for you. They're not exactly the same. They're a bit different. The end result a bit different but it's up to you uh, which result you like the most and which one you look, works best for you okay so this is it for now and again don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon so you can get a notification uh, every time i'm releasing a new video and um as i mentioned don't forget to go into this forum uh, over here and ask me any question that you want and i do my best to get back to you as soon as i can okay so um, have fun and good luck uh, with your project bye bye